Look at all this stuff. Woo. Let's get cleaning. Hello. Hi. I uh, moved recently. That's why nothing's set up. Everything's in boxes. So I thought it'd be kind of fun because uh, I bought a few things in the new year to make the studio a little bit more like a studio. I thought it'd be fun to go through that. Not really an unboxing, but a before and after of what uh, the studio looks like. Not put together and then put together. So uh, yeah, let's go. So the first thing I had to do was actually take everything back out of the room because when we moved in I didn't want everything just around because uh, my girlfriend and I had to go to work the next day. I wanted the place to look uh, livable, you know, so we could wake up in the morning and not have boxes all over the place. So I actually put everything in the studio and this is me taking everything back out um, so I can lay the rug down first and then put everything else back in. This is me laying the rug down. Everything is out of the studio. Uh, the space was great. Uh, there are hardwoods on the floor, so I knew I wanted the rug and I was doing some shopping. I really liked this color. It was thick enough for what I needed, so I went with this. My main two goals for this new studio space was to make sure I could see uh, as many things as possible. If things are out, I'm more likely to mess around with them, like instruments and stuff. And I wanted to brighten up the room. I had a, I had black panels on the walls and a black rug in the last room, and it was always just so dark. So I wanted everything to be a lot lighter. Here I am putting up uh, the desk that I bought. I had a beautiful big L desk, and what I wanted to do was pull the desk away from the wall so my monitors would be a little bit more accurate. Okay, so desk is set up, that's nice. Um, hopefully the sound in the room feels a little bit mu uh, more muffled. It was hardwoods, put a carpet down. Uh, I've got some more paneling to put up, but it's off to a good start. A lot of this video is just me uh, unpacking things that I bought, which is kind of weird, but that's, I guess, how you set up a studio, right? This is uh, just like an Amazon shelf that I bought. Again, I wanted to make sure I could see as many things as possible. So all my instruments could fit on here. I could put a whole bunch of stuff uh, just within reach, within eyesight of me. This is the drum kit. I have had this drum kit for a while. Uh, I got the snare drum for Christmas, finishing it out. And I decided that I wanted it up. I want to, you know, one, learn drums would be great. And two, I want to start tracking them more because I think it would make the track sound a bit better. This is the boxes. So many boxes after unpacking these things. And yeah. This next part was weird, so I got a uh, pair of soundproof curtains, again, just to make the space a little bit more dead, and when I received them in the mail, I only got one, which was really weird, uh, and I contacted the seller, and they said there should be two, I showed them that I only had one, and they said they sent another pair, and when I opened the second package up, uh, it was also just one curtain, so I'm not sure if they made one mistake twice or if my communication was off, but regardless, I have both curtains now. They look nice. I will show you in the after shots what both curtains look like. Hello, this is my first uh, talking head in the new studio. I've got the camera set up next to the desk. I've got my like podcast microphone. I've got my uh, Amaran light shining on me. 
So this is it. This is the first video I've shot in this room. I'm super excited. I hope it looks good. I'm sure there's more changes that need to be made, but I'm super excited. I've already done a couple things in this room. I've made a few tracks and I am loving it. So thanks for coming with me to watch me set it up and hopefully you'll see a lot more coming out of this room in the future. All right. Bye.